Hey, 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 what's up everybody? Good morning. This is day six of our cruise on the Celebrity Equinox. Hmm. And it's Grand Cayman Day. Yes. Just over out in the distance, we are approaching Cayman Island. And uh, we're here a little early, so we've been, uh, our time has been rescheduled because of the hurricane that is churning away in the Atlantic. We're here in Grand Cayman an hour earlier. We're gonna leave an hour earlier, so the ship is ready uh, to start doing the tender at nine o'clock. It's about 8.30. Right. So we just got up. I tell you what, uh, we went to bed early, but I'm still tired. I'm still a little tired. It's that cruise life, man. It'll wear you out. A nice warm day in Cozumel yesterday, and uh, I can take a nap. Can we do it? No, we can't do it because <laughs> there's nothing cooler than looking at the cruise ship from a tender. I don't, I don't think we're going to do much in Grand Cayman. Maybe find some place just to chill, but I got to take that tender boat ride. Oh yeah. I love the tender boat ride. I love the tender boat ride. So we're going to uh, go get some breakfast. Not sure where yet, but uh, grab some breakfast and get ready to get off for just a little bit in Grand Cayman. Jenny, where you at? It's blue. <laughs> How's the breakfast, Jenny? It was lovely. Yeah. What was your, what, what did you have today? I was just kind of English muffin and some bacon. Are you ready to go to Grand Cayman? Yes. Grand Cayman, here we go. For the meeting time and place, we thank you kindly for your attention and we wish you a wonderful day in Grand Cayman. So the tender service has started here in Grand Cayman. We are uh, accompanied by a couple carnival ships, the Carnival Sensation, the Carnival Glory. And let me let me show you where we're at. Really close to Grand Cayman. It looks like the tender might be a five minute ride. Uh, when we were here earlier uh, on the Caribbean Princess a couple years ago, I feel like we were docked further out uh, because it took a while to make that tender ride. But this, this looks like a fairly quick uh, tender service. And uh, it's cool to see the uh, the other cruise ships so close, but yeah. So we're going to uh, I think we're going to let the first batch of folks get off, and then we are going to uh, board the tender. It's uh, it's pretty hot here, and again, we're a little bit wiped out. I know it's that cruise life, not complaining, but I, I don't think we're going to do a whole lot other than ride the ship, uh, ride the tender. But see, bright and sunny, bright and sunny, ah, bright and sunny here. In Grand Cayman. 1017, we're making our way to deck three where we catch the tender. The tender! To Grand Cayman. Let's see what it looks like. Uh, there was a little bit of a line earlier when I looked over the side, but here we go. There's a line there. I'm sorry. Excuses. Oh, it is comfy. All right, so we're gonna pivot uh, and wait 10 minutes. The line, so we're in the martini bar. That's the first time we've been here. Man, the seating is nice. Nice. But uh, yeah, we're gonna wait 10 minutes to see if it gets better or worse. Better or worse. What do you think? Well, it doesn't matter, but. I think it'll get better. Yeah, I think a lot of people have gotten off already, so. Yeah, Jump back in line at 10.38, and it seems to be moving, so I, I don't know if we're getting on the one that's there now, but we'll definitely be on the next one, I think. Good morning. Have your room key hand them a smile on your face. You need them both to wait. So room key and a smile. Enjoy your day. Have a great one today. Thank you. A little bit of movement. Yeah, 
started this process about 10.30. Yeah. It's now 11.22. It only took like four or five minutes to get over here on the tender, but we had to wait for him to fill up the tender. And so we are here in the port area of Georgetown, Grand Cayman. Uh, tons of folks here getting ready for excursions. There are three ships here, the Carnival Glory, the Carnival Sensation, Celebrity Equinox, and they're all porting right here uh, with the tender service. Uh, not sure what we're gonna get into. You just gotta keep watching. Keep watching. Who knows? All right, we'll catch go. up with you. Now. So this port at Grand Cayman a little smaller than uh, a little smaller than some of the other ports, but it's all fenced in. It's all secure. Some shops. You got, of course, uh, got a Cuban cigar shop there. Tanzanite uh, jewelry is always a big thing at these ports. A little bit of a duty-free and Tortuga shop to get a, the famous Tortuga rum cakes here. Too hot. I don't know what that is. I think it looks like another uh, souvenir shop. Both of these souvenir shops here. Maybe we'll go into that Grand Cayman and then See if we can find a new magnet. I'll catch up, don't worry. Now this place was hopping the last time we were here, the Green Parrot. I don't know if, uh, I don't know what the deal is, but it doesn't look like it's open anymore. I got police tape. I hope nothing nefarious happened. The interesting thing about Grand Cayman is there are a lot of people inside this port area offering tours, but they don't allow it outside the port area here in Grand Cayman. So once you get through this little area of people making the offer, then then you're pretty good to go if you don't like to have to have that conversation. So we've been walking a minute and 41 seconds and that's about it for the port. So just to give you some idea of how how not that not that big it is. Do you have some shopping through the back here? Coconut guy. We've got this little area here with I mean very just little souvenir shopping. Rooster. Nice. So yeah, if you're somebody that likes to stay inside of the fenced in port area, not a lot to do at Grand Cayman. Very little. Just a few uh, jewelry places, a few souvenir shops. Looks like it's cool in here at least. <sighs> it's nice and cool. Find a magnet. Oh. Cool. Oh. 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 Oh, okay, perfect, thanks. We walked right by him. Excuse us. What you get in there, Tony? In this pirate magnet for our refrigerator. <laughs> that way if anybody ever tries to break into our refrigerator, they'll know. That you've been to Grand Cayman. That we're pirates. That we're pirates. <laughs> Alright, 
it's a 20 gun magnet. This is a big accomplishment. It was a big accomplishment. Jenny, uh, I think I'm ready to go back. Are you? It's hot. What is it? Hot. It's H O T, baby. Hot. Hot. All right, let's get. Okay, since the bathroom's empty, I figured I'd give you a quick uh, bathroom tour. Cool thing is, uh, very nice decor. Uh, these are the sinks, and I like the fact that they have hand towels. So you just grab a towel and then you throw it there. Uh, no, uh, no paper towels. But I have been in here when this has run out, so th there is like paper towels, but pretty cool, fancy schmancy. Look, ladies, this is what it looks like if you've never seen it. That's where we do our business. And then they have, uh, I believe they have this. It's locked. Look at that. Auto magic. And then uh, it's pretty cool, yeah. So uh, they have the sign, please use the towel. And then they have the button to push. But you think the button might be dirty too. bathroom tour. Pretty cool, right? Everybody wants to go bathroom in style. Take a quick pee. Be a fan. Oh, hey, Jenny. I was just showing the people the, showing the, people the bathroom. Quick time check, 1.15, I have snuck up to the lawn club, really to see bocce. The cool thing about the lawn club is they have putt-putt, uh, they've got bocce, anything that had, they had croquet one day, anything to do with grass, they've got it going on up here. Uh, I do love the views here, the carnival ships, and they just finished playing bocce here. I'll show you a little bit of that. juggling on the high seas but uh, yeah super cool super unique to the celebrity ships is this lawn club actual grass on the cruise ship 
and you'll see that's where we did the blown glass and then uh, I'll give you a quick tour around uh, there's some bocce action there and this is really the aft of the ship a great place to relax So this is the bar on the aft of the ship, which is really kind of a beautiful bar. And then I think the best seats, the best seats on the cruise ship are these four seats right here. You can sit here, you can overlook the wake. This kind of takes you right into the buffet area. But yeah, really the best view, best seats, at least on the aft. I don't know what the temperature here is in Grand Cayman today, but it's a warm one. Right now the seas are calm. Everybody's starting to get a little apprehensive. Everybody's starting to get a little apprehensive about what could be going on with the hurricane. They told us they're going to take us back into port, into Lauderdale a little early. We're already getting there early, so I don't know if that means sometime on... Friday night instead of Saturday, but I guess we'll get more information as we get it. But yeah, right now the seas are calm here in Grand Cayman, nothing crazy. Some storm clouds on the horizon, but uh, who knows, we'll have to track what's going on with this hurricane. But it's the Sunset Bar, really pretty in the long club on the aft of the cruise ship. So I was wondering what the price of those cabanas are. I'll show them to you, super nice though. $99 on the port day, which would be today. $249 on the sea day. And these are the cabanas here. This is a super nice uh, That's pretty cool. I mean, it's not close to the pool. You get it up here on the sea day for 99 bucks. Or no, 249 on the sea day. Looks like they have six of them. Seems like that could be a great time. I might I don't know. I don't know if it's worth 100 bucks or definitely not 249, but pretty nice. Especially if you want a private space and you don't have to fight for a chair. Pretty cool. All right, guys, quick time check. Three o'clock. We are still docked here in Grand Cayman. I'm actually going to try to do a 20 or 30 minute walk around the top of the cruise ship. Going to climb some stairs. This is going to be over there on the Walking for Weight Loss YouTube channel. I'll leave a link in the description. I may throw a little bit of the footage just to show you kind of what it looks like, but it's a narrated walk. It's a good way to get your steps in uh, while you're listening to me narrate the walk. So if you want to check that out, go over to the Walking for Weight Loss channel. Link in the description and above. So uh, yeah, going to pretty sure I'm gonna get my sweat on. So little exercise on, uh, I don't even know what day of the week is, but on Grand Cayman Day afternoon, gonna knock it out. Uh, we're getting ready to go to, uh, we got, it's lobster night. And so, and there's really no good show. So I think we're gonna eat dinner a little later than normal, but of course we'll take you there. But I'm just trying to get myself hyped up for this walk. Walking for weight loss, 30 minutes. There's some cool carnival ships and it's gonna be a good walk. Whoa. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. Time check 326. I'm back from the walk. Jenny is back from the coffee. Holy moly, it's hot out there. Uh, almost did a mile. Uh, if you want to see that walk, go on, go on over to the Walking for Weight Loss channel and uh, it's guaranteed to make you sweat. We're gonna eat dinner at six o'clock so we have a little time to kill. Uh, it could be cruise nap time. Jenny! Yes, see. Cruise nap? Cruise nap. 
cruise down. Cayman Islands, we're gonna be leaving here soon. We'll, we'll catch up with you. Okay, so the cruise nap has not taken place. Has not. Jenny is out here again looking for pirates, but uh, we're right on the coast of Cayman, no pirates. But we do have some scurvy dogs trying to escape the scene, maybe escape the uh, escape the weather, I don't know. But the carnival ships are making their way out and they're doing it to, in tandem, which is kind of cool. You got the, uh, I think you got the glory leading the way. And then the sensation following it up. Goodbye, Carnival cruise ships. We'll see you back in Fort Lauderdale. Love you. I don't know if either one of those are in Fort Lauderdale. But also, also while we were sitting here, our afternoon canapé came. Jenny, reveal. What do you think? What's it gonna be? Shrimp? <gasps> no. What the heck what is, is okay, that? I don't know what that is. That looks like something with goat cheese on it. That looks like cheese with cheese. No, that's cheese. That's the sweet and that's the bread. Jenny, uh, I don't know what that is. What is this? I mean, I would think that they do it like a Cayman Island style, so maybe it's like a curry? I don't know. It could be a curry. All right, well, we're gonna canopy and still maybe take a nap, but sail away in just a little bit. Goodbye. Goodbye, carnival ships. Off in the distance. Boy, that's cool looking. All right guys, quick time check, it is 4.30. We are overlooking uh, kind of where the tenders go to in Grand Cayman. They did just call three people over the intercom. I don't know if that means they're not on the ship or they just couldn't account for them, but uh, the storm's rolling in, the carnival ships have bugged out, the engines are rolling, so uh, hopefully everybody's on board. But we're gonna sail away and uh, yeah, great day in Grand Cayman. Okay, so it's uh, 4.39. The last tender was supposed to come over at 4.15. They did call out three names of people that were not on the cruise ship, and this tender looks like it has people on it. So, I don't know if maybe it's a late excursion or something like that, but maybe people getting on the cruise ship here. The petite chef tomorrow. I the table to life. It's gonna be fun, right? Yes. Tomorrow night. Can't wait. It's gonna be fun.
Hey guys, so we're in blue for the last night, but tonight we're going to be able to try some things from the main dining room. So we're going to have escargot and beef wellington, which are serving in the main dining room, but we're going to be able to enjoy it here in the restaurant of blue. I would not believe how happy Jenny is at this moment. <laughs> Let me say it again. You would not believe how happy Jenny is at this moment. And a cappuccino. <laughs> a little baked Alaska for our last dessert here in blue. Looks delicious. All right, so this is our Tangled Up in Blue review. <laughs> Tonight was lobster night, but when we both sat down, we didn't necessarily want to have lobster. And uh, we were given the opportunity to have some stuff from the main dining room. Right. Which is really cool. We wanted to share that with you. So we had uh, the escargot, we had the beef wellington, uh, but we did have to go back onto the blue menu for dessert. dessert. What do you think? What was the highlight of the meal for you? Uh, baked Alaska. Baked Alaska. And we also tried a dish that they had uh, stuffed shells with oh, Angus yeah. beef. They ground up Angus beef mm -hmm. and made an Italian stuffed shell. So wonderful. That was really good. Goat cheese Napoleon was really good. And uh, man, I, I just want to say the food's been really great here all week. And they try to do it on the lighter side. So this has been uh, a cool experience where they've had kind of cleaner, healthier ingredients. And uh, because they're only making a limited amount, the food was super fresh. Absolutely. And I have to say the service in blue, impeccable. Man, the service has been great. Like they know your name. Everywhere. The, they right. bring you your drink. And it's uh, we've had really great service on the ship. Yeah, throughout the whole ship. Really great service. Really. All right, well, uh, the entertainment, on the other hand, has been a little bit of a challenge. They have another stand-up comedian tonight after the close magic illusionist last night, so I don't, I don't even think we're going to try to go see a show, uh, and not really sure what else is going on. So we're going to knock That's around. That's money. Well, it would definitely test the fates, <laughs> probably get some coffee, but uh, no big plans as we make our way back to Fort Lauderdale. One more day, the sea date tomorrow. Uh, still a lot to show you on the ship, but a good night at Blue and good night to Blue. But oh, the reason tonight's our last night at Blue is tomorrow we're going over here to Cuisine uh, to do La Petite Chef, the interactive dinner. La Petite. So as long as they don't cut our night short, we're, we should be good to go. What do you think? What do you mean cut our night short? The hurricane, Jenny. <sighs> this blog is full of Bob Dylan references. Tangled up in Blue, the hurricane. I don't know. All right. It's all blowing in the wind. Thank you so much. Wait, what's my favorite song? I don't know. To, make, to make me feel your love? Yes. To make me feel my love? I don't know how, what's the song called? I don't know. All right. We are going to go get some coffee and we'll catch up with you in a little bit. Bye. Ooh, I left the camera running for time lapse for sunset. I should go check on my camera hanging off the side of the ship. Oh, that's right. That was an hour ago. All right, let's go check on that. It's 8 o'clock. We're in the entertainment court, and we're going to participate in some sort of group 80s music game show. Interactive name that tune. Jenny, are, are we going to win this thing? We, we might win, but this is a cool area. They have a lot of game shows like this, and then if I'll show it to you. The uh, pictures are over there. had dinner we're having our coffee normally we just like to sit in the coffee place but we came down here to look at our pictures and we thought we would participate in the show so it's only one more day to go it's so sad it's so sad okay, Almost got the pushed out. All right. All right, it's now three to two. We're gonna move on to a little bit of rock now. Oh. Here we go. Paradise City Guns and Roses. Paradise City Guns and Roses. 
Guns N' Roses for a nice day. That is correct. Guns N' Roses, Paradise City, another point for team number one. I love though, I just gotta say, I love this like slow motion running we've got going on and then we can <laughs> There we are. All right. So you all are taking the rules very seriously. I'm not used to this. That's why I thought brought the bodyguard with, you know? But okay, I'm not gonna complain. Very nice. Here we go with our next song. <laughs> Van Halen, jump. Whoa! Jump, Van Halen. That is correct. All right, I'm gonna go back. You know, let's just play this. Uh, 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 uh. We'll put it here. This is sort of more in the middle. Since you're yeah. all too scared to come closer, I'll move the mic a little bit over. All right. There, there we go. All right. Now you stay outside of our little cone of circle here. All right. Pressure's on. Pressure's on. Here we go. Oh, don't stop believing. Don't stop believing by Jordan. That is yeah. In the game. He did it with his drink in his hand, not a drop was spilled. That is still, my friend, that is still. Alright. Here we go. 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 Some sugar on me. That is correct! Yeah. They're picking up the pace. That was the fastest I've seen somebody run for that song. I like it. I like it. So fast. All right. Let's change it up a little bit with some more pop from the 80s. Here we go. It is my personal playlist. Yes. How would I know? What do you think? Whoa! No comment. Aggressive. No comment. How do I love you, Whitney Houston? That is incorrect. Your guess? How would I know? Wait, 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 wait. That is correct. How are you? to the other team. We've got one more song that I think should be relatively easy for you. So whoever gets this one wins the game. game shows like that in this area and we're right near where the pictures are so I think we're gonna go check out our pictures. All right so we changed our mind we're gonna watch the comedian it's about 8 40 uh, so we've got our spot in the Equinox Theater. Uh, Jeff Neese coming up. All right quick time check 953 that was the comedian Jeff Neese. Uh, pretty funny guy got on at Cozumel he's gonna do a late night show tomorrow night uh, it sounds like they're going to close the cruise out strong with another big stage show and late night adult comedy. Uh, there is a... Oh, there's Jenny. There is a um, silent disco going on in the foyer, the big grand foyer. So I'm going to go check that out. Jenny is going to test the fates. So we're going to find her, see if uh, I think she would still have that $50 from last night. So I'm going to do all of that and uh, who knows? It's getting late though and we lose an hour so we changed time a couple days ago and now we got to give the hour back so who knows busy day tomorrow but still stuff to do tonight so silent disco here we go <laughs> Oh, 
So it's pretty interesting they have DJs and the DJs all have different colored headphones on and so basically you've got dueling DJs but then you have the whole crowd mixed in with each other. So not everybody's hearing the same thing. It's kind of cool. There's a lot of people down there, but uh, my dance partner is in the casino. So I just I'll uh, silent. I don't. I can't hear the music, so I'll silent disco. test the fates uh, and, and I don't ever play the slots so I, I bought in for forty dollars and I lost it all but I couldn't walk away from the machine because <laughs> no, I'm a compulsive gambler <laughs> and I bought in for forty more and boom it's like Mount Monday Jenny will not focus 10440 let that be a lesson to all you kids out there. Uh, if you lose the amount of money that you decided to lose, just throw more at it. No. And just keep gambling until you're up $20. Okay, I guess that's how it goes. So Jenny, you started with $50. How are you doing? Uh, I'm down to $5.72. You know what you Not gotta good. do? I gotta buy in with more. You gotta throw more money at it. Tomorrow. <laughs> are we done? For the night, we are. All right, well, uh, I'm gonna cash out my big winnings of $20 and immediately give it to Jenny. Okay, sounds good. Quick time check, it is about 11 o'clock. We have to set our clock for it an hour, so I think it's like 12 o'clock. Yeah. Jenny, we went to Grand Cayman today. We did, and we did a whole bunch of other stuff. We did, look, and we were winners tonight in the casino? Well, <laughs> I was a winner. Which means I was a winner. Overall, we're about even, right? I think so. I think we're, but the cool thing is when we got back to the room, not only did we have our nighttime chocolates, our pillow chocolates, look at this mound of pillows. Between us, we have 18,000 pillows. <laughs> All right, so here's here's what's on tap for tomorrow. Uh, we're going to go to Cuisine, to the uh, La Petite uh, Chef, tomorrow night at 6. Remember to jump forward in time. Thank you, Jonathan, for reminding us. And then uh, our great room steward, Jonathan, got us hooked up for a couple of these things. The Equinox Theater Backstage Tour at 9.30 and then a galley tour at 10.45. So, we got stuff to do tomorrow, Jenny. We do. And it's sea day. It's our last day. It is. To They're going to kick us off. off. Well, I hope you've enjoyed our adventures today around the ship and in Grand Cayman. If so, please hit the like button. And if you're brand new here and you enjoy cruising, consider subscribing. Absolutely. You gotta subscribe, you gotta hit the notification bell, and then that way you get notified for our next cruise video. All right, we're gonna call it a night. My name's Tony. And I'm Jenny. And we are La Lita Loca. And until the next time. We'll see you on the Lido. We'll see you on the Lido. Bye. Bye.